Assalamu alaikum. This is MATLAB course lecture number seven. In this lecture, we will uh, talk about some methods uh, can be used to solve, uh, say that, numerical uh, problems or say that algebraic equations. We have different so numerical applications. Say that numerical applications. The first one: how to solve, how to solve linear system of linear algebraic equations. As example, uh, let us say that we have this equation, these equations, and we want to solve them. Uh, actually, what happened in general, we want to write it in a form, in a form say that, uh, as you see, it is A, it is A times X equal to B. In this case, if you multiply A by A inverse, so A inverse times A, A inverse times A, uh, times X equal A, uh, sorry, A inverse times B. So as you see, A times A inverse, it's identity matrix. So it's like one. So X in this case equal to A inverse, A inverse times B. This is the solution. So we have to write, rewrite the equation like this. So let me go to MATLAB, open new script file, or let me do it without script file, do it in, in the uh, command window like this. We have to, as you, as you see, uh, in this example, we have four x1. What are the variables here, or unknowns? x1, x2, x3, x1, x2, x3, x1, x2, x3. So we have to rearrange them, or uh, if they are not arranged, but these are arranged. So uh, let me start. I will write, guys, I will write, uh, in this example, I will write, as you see, the 4 here, the 4, it is the coefficient of the first, uh, say that unknown. And the second one, it is minus 2, this is the coefficient of the second unknown. And this is one coefficient of the third unknown. So you have to indicate which one you want it as the first one, x1 or x2 or x3. Keep it like this, x1 is the first, x2 is the second, x3 is the fourth. So, uh, the in the first row, we have the first equation coefficients. In the second one, we have the second. In the third one, we have the third one. Okay, so we have to write in the command window here, A uh, should not be, it could be B, it could be C, any, any, anyway, say that A, okay. Uh, this is the matrix, okay, the first uh, element will be 4 followed by minus 2, followed by by 1, then semicolon to go to next row, uh, then 1, then again 1, then again 5. See here it is 1, coefficient 1, here coefficient 1, here coefficient 5, then go to next row. I'm sorry, by mistake, let me repeat it. Okay. Uh, the third one, it is minus 2, as you see here, it is minus 2, then followed by 3, as you see here, then followed by minus 1. If it's not arranged, you should arrange it like this. Okay, so this is the value of A. This is the value of A, CLC, value of A, as you see. These are the coefficients. Then I have to define the B. The B, they are the constants. The B, they are the constants. These are the constants. Uh, because it's equal, as you see, 7, 10, 2. So we can write here B equal, B equal, as you see. Uh, it, will, it will be 7, then semicolon to go to the next line, 10, then semicolon, then 2. As you see, it should be a column. Okay? Uh, if it's not a column, write the transpose to, to convert it to a column. Uh, so I have it now ready. The solution S or say that the X, X equal to what? Inverse, inverse of the A times the B. That's it. Because here we have three equations with three unknowns. The first unknown, it's x1. The second unknown, it's x2. And the third one, it's x3. That's it. This is how we can. Just to remind you, just to remind you about the multiplication iy and why we form this one like this. Let me go to here and show you how the multiplication of a matrix is. Say that we have this matrix, just to remind you. Say that I have this matrix, we have here, it is A, this B, this C, this D, as example. And this one, say that 
x and this one say y we want to find the multiplication of this one it is equal to like the following so we will take if you if you remember we'll take the first row multiply it by the, the column column by column so it is a times x it is a times x plus b times y plus b times y the first element then we will take this row times the column so it will be uh, c it will be c times x plus d times y this is the result say that this is uh, equal to as example z w that means that means if, if this is correct uh, it should be equal to as you see z w that means the value of z equal to a x plus b y and the value of w equal c x plus d y this is how we can multiply the matrices and how we can write the equations next step let me go and solve the, the exercise number one in this exercise as you see uh, uh, write the following system of equations in a matrix form as you see the equations here by the way i i don't think this these are correct numbers but let me check so c l c okay see uh, the equations are as you see uh, let me open this one here and show you how we can write it okay now it is minus 3y here we have minus 3y minus minus 3y uh, plus x plus x plus 3z 3z equal take the 10 to the right the minus 10 it will be 10 the next one it will be take the y uh, the first it will be 3y plus the second one it should be x minus sorry not plus should be minus sorry sorry it should be minus minus 5x the second one as you see here minus 5 plus uh, 3y what uh, it should be minus 2z minus 2z minus 2 z equal to fi minus 5 minus 5 the third equation the third x minus y should be y minus x sorry minus y plus x minus y plus x minus 5z equal to minus 2 so the equations are as you see now coefficient minus 3 1 3 3 minus 5 minus 2 minus 1 1 minus 5 this should be multiplied by the first value will be y second will be x third will be z equal to 10 minus 5 minus 2 this is the matrix form now in MATLAB we have to write say that say that this is the value say that this is a okay and this is say that the solution s and this is the constant c as example uh, we have to write a equal a equal as you see minus 3 1 3 semicolon followed by uh, 3 3 then minus 5 then minus 2 go to next row minus 1 then 1 then minus 5 okay and put them in brackets like this so uh, sorry we have minus I have a problem in my keyboard minus 1 followed by uh, sorry here minus 3 minus 3 1 minus 3 let me repeat it here this one it should be here minus 3 then 1 then 3 minus 3 1 then 3 this is correct okay this is the value of a we have to define the value of c c equal to 
c equal to uh, 10 followed by minus 5 followed by minus 2 I forgot to make it as a column by writing semicolon here so we can write transpose like this to make it as a column vector so I have the value of a I have the value of c then the solution s equal to inverse inverse of a inverse of a times the c that's it now see minus 2.9 it is the value of what take care the value of y the second one minus one the value of x and third one it is the value of z this is how we can solve system of linear equations next step uh, we solve this one uh, by the way these these uh, numbers they are not correct take care about them okay uh, solve the following equations now as you see we have x y z a b c we have six unknowns here with six equations so let me try to solve it directly here again we can find define a equal coefficients as you see the coefficient the first one uh, it is one for x it is one for y one for z one for a one for b one for c then go to next line then it is 1 for x minus 1 for y, 1 for z, 1 for x, uh, sorry, for a, for a, and 1 for b, 1 for c. Then go to next row, uh, 1, then 1, then minus 1, then 1, then 1, then 1. Then go to next row. Uh, the fourth one, it is 1 by 1 by 1, then uh, minus 1 1 1 next one it is 1 by 1 then 1 then 1 then minus 1 then 1 and the last one it is 1 then 1 then 1 then 1 uh, then 1 and finally minus 1 to be sure yes this is the matrix of A now matrix of C the constants they are to the right it there should be like uh, from 1 to 6 no need to write this one but from 1 to 6 like this and you can say that this transpose by the way to keep or to make it as a uh, uh, column like this okay now the solution s equal to inverse inverse of a inverse of a times times the c we have six values for six unknowns c uh, I decided to keep x as the first one so 8.5 it is for x and for y minus 0.5 and for uh, and so on so this solution is correct but this one is not correct you have to care think about it okay we finished the first part how to solve non uh, sorry solve linear system of equations next part we will talk about uh, the care fitting how we can use the care fitting using the poly 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 uh, fit function just to remind you what is the polynomial uh, let me start by reminding you what is the polynomial the polynomial it is a function like the following just to, sh to show you the, the alternatives here uh, as example we do write f of x f of x equal x to the power 2 minus 1 it is second order second order polynomial when you write f of x equal as example exponential of of x it is not it is not polynomial f of x equal sine of x not polynomial f sorry f of x equal 1 over x not polynomial f of x equal uh, 1 minus x to the power 3 minus 2x it's polynomial it is a polynomial function second or uh, this is third order polynomial function these are polynomial functions if you remember if you remember we we learned together how we can use the built-in functions like like uh, polyval poly polyval if you remember polyval function and uh, we, again we have polyval to evaluate the polynomial at certain point uh, and we have also if you remember a polydair polydair to uh, find the derivative of a polynomial and so on 
as example say that f function f of x the function f of x equal to uh, 2x3 minus 1 how we can we can uh, say that this f equal in in matlab it's equal to coefficient of the higher power it is it is 2 followed by next one x to the power 2 we don't have it is 0 next uh, x to the power 1 we don't have it is 0 and the constant here it's minus 1 this is the f now we can if we want f of x say that f of 1 as example what's the value of a one in matlab we can write uh, say that poly poly there poly there the polynomial f at x equal to 1 if you want to find the derivative say that derivative dri der equal poly poly there poly there of the f which uh, derivatives first or second derivative write it here okay if it's second derivative write write like this this is how we can find the derivative if you want to plot this function uh, we have to define if you want to plot it we have to define the value the value of uh, of x okay so we have to say that uh, we have to find the value of x say that i have x equal from 1 to 100 as example okay then we can find the value of y say that poly there i want to evaluate the polynomial f at each point of x so we got vector then we can plot as example uh, we can use the plot function plot x y just to remind you what's polynomial we, we uh, talk about we talked about the polynomial in, in uh, one lecture yeah, i think it's lecture number one uh, or two lecture number two you can refer to lecture number two and uh, to, rem to remember what's the polynomial function this is just a reminder guys okay now let me go back to talk about how we can f uh, use the care fit uh, let me take uh, an example and this example say that uh, let me go back to the uh, the, uh, the whiteboard I have a data this data say that this is uh, as example time this is say that the acceleration or velocity whatever okay we got this data uh, experimentally as example i got a time equal to this value here this value here this value here this value and so on okay these are experimental values these are experimental values and i want to find the best i want to find the best curve or best line that can fit the data okay we have something called poly fit poly fit okay poly fit i want to pull for the data uh, this data in x-axis is the t in y-axis it's the acceleration and say that if you want a line you have to write one first order polynomial if you want it uh, second order write two third order write three and so on so t and a experimental data or data given the actual data given and the result from this polyfit it should be it should be if it's one it should be two value the a and the b what a and b because this this line uh, y equal a times x plus b so the polyfit function as you see the polyfit function returns the value of a and returns the value of b so we have to write a comma p equal polyfit what if it is second order not not third order not first order what if it's second order? I will show you what is the difference. Okay. Now say that it is uh, not uh, first order. It is a second order. Okay. So uh, we have uh, say that to say uh, as example, we need a polyfit poly okay poly fit 
the uh, I, I have data in x direction it is t y direction it is a second order in second order in second order the result it, it just show you the what is the second order just uh, to remind you what's the second order second order the value of y equal a factor a coefficient x to the power 2 plus p x plus c so when you write polyfit like this you have to say that we have three values a b c now the polyfit function will return if it's second order will return the value of a the value of b the value of c if you know them you know the function y so yeah this is how we can use the polyfit function uh, first order second order th third order and so on Now let me go to uh, one of the exercises. Uh, see, measures, we have an experiment, measurements of the fuel efficiency of a car, Fe, at various speed, V, are shown in the table. As you see, V and Fe. V is the speed and Fe is the fuel efficiency. These are experimental data. Care fit the data with second order polynomial. Okay. Again, just to remind you, we have this data, and we have to use the polyfit function, second order. In the second order, it will, it will return A and B and C. Let me go back to the MATLAB now, new script, CLC, clear, and close, close all. Now, we have this data. We can say that V equal, write the data, the original one, V equal to 5, followed by 15, then 25 i think it is uh, incremented by 5 so i prefer to write them using uh, say that from 5 to 75 but incremented by 10 incremented by 10 so this is the increment 10. i have the values of v just to show you what are the v save uh, dot m okay Save run the program. This is V as you see it's 5, 15, 25 until reach 75. Now we have to define the, the efficiency Fe. Fe, uh, it is the uh, actual data. Uh, say that it is Fe like this. Okay, or Fe as written in the question equal to 11. The first one it's 11 then 22 then 28 then 29.5 then 30 then 30 again 27 again 23 again okay this is the these are the values of fe these are the uh, original one just to show you let me blot i will blot okay the original uh, so uh, v in x direction and fe in the y direction say that this should be stars stars because they are points discrete not continuous not a function uh, and red as example red stars let me run the program show you the result as you see this is the result these are the data I have okay so uh, we want to see care fit data using second order polynomial second order polynomial so say that uh, say second second order so second order polynomial uh, equal to poly poly fit I want to fit the data which data which data data in x-axis it is V in y-axis it is F F E uh, which order second order now when you wrote when, when you write like this when you write like this uh, I don't want to see the results now let me uh, show you and if you write uh, if you write SO SO equal poly poly fit okay say that the values of v with f e capital second order now just to remind you what's the second order second order means that y equal a x to the power 2 plus b times x plus c from where we'll get the value of a and the value of b and the value c the polyfit function should return three values the best a and best b and best c that can describe the uh, relation between the v and fe as a second order polynomial so 
uh, all of these values a and b and c uh, pass to so pass to so so the coefficients of uh, and just to remind you guys remind you in matlab how we can write y we can write y equal just the coefficients we can write a b c so the so now the so the so containing this vector a b c vector okay now we know what is the uh, so second order okay uh, use the logarithmic function sorry use the polynomial to estimate the fuel efficiency at 60 mile per hour 60 mile per hour as you see 60 mile per hour here missed we have 65 uh, 55 uh, in experiment but we don't have 60 we, but we can we can expect the value or uh, use the polyfit function so we can say that fe at 60 as example equal to polyval polyval i want to evaluate I want to evaluate which polynomial, the second order polynomial I got before, at which data at 60. That's it. Okay? Keep it like this without semicolon to see the result. Now, see, run the program again. See, uh, these are the original data. And see, Fe at 60 equal 29.182, which is, which is, which is makes sense. At 60, it's up between 30 and 27. If you want to plot it, okay, I will plot. Control C, Control, Control V, just to show you that, the, I'm sorry. Uh, Control Z again, uh, Control C, Control V to show you this point, plot the point, which is 60 with its value, it is FE60. FE60, say that star, but not, uh, it is a uh, blue. Okay, the blue one, run the program, see. Uh, this figure will, will uh, delete the old one so uh, keep hold on as example hold on like this save run the program see all of them together see all of these points the red one it is experimental one this one the blue one it is uh, or we got this one from the polyfit function second order okay uh, next care fit data with a logarithmic function use the logarithmic function to estimate the fuel efficiency how we can how we can use the logarithmic function just to remind you what is the logarithmic function uh, we have a table here this is the logarithmic function as you see logarithmic function that means the data in y axis equal m some constant lin the data in x direction plus b okay plus b now uh, as you see here y equal m len of x plus b it's a linear relation between what between y and and what len of x and len of x by the way len in matlab len in matlab written like log and log 10 it is uh, log 10 in matlab so that as you see the relation between y and len of x it's linear so we can use polyfit Polyfit. I want to polyfit len of x with y first order. So this polyfit will return two things, a and b. Actually, here the name it's as you see in the table it's m. So let me use m and b. M and b. Why? Because the relation it will become y equal m len of x plus b like this. Okay. So how we can do it? same thing same thing we will write say that logarithmic function polynomial logarithmic function lg say that logarithmic function or lin <coughs> lin function lg <coughs> equal to what poly poly fit poly fit i want to uh, fit the data in x axis not the x it is len of x or len of the data which is v len of v Okay, and I told you in MATLAB, len, it is log in MATLAB. So log of V, comma, in Y direction, it is the FE as it is. Okay, first order. If it's first order, you can remove the one or keep it. It's up to you. I don't want to see the result of LG. Okay, now let me let me run the code. I will, I will show you the, what the values of the vector LG. It should be two values. Evaluate, see. It, the first one, 5.6, represent the M. And 5.8 represent the B. 
okay so I have them now uh, if you want to blot as example say blot I want to blot okay now I want to blot the the fitted data in both uh, okay let me let me do it later now I want the value of LG LG at 60 okay at 60 equal poly poly fit poly fit the value of the vector LG at which value at 60 at 60 okay let me run the program and show you the result we have a mistake here what this mistake x and y should be same size where is it line number 44 in that plot uh, LG 60 equal polyfit LG at 60 LG at 60 LG at 60 okay let me check the LG the LG it is uh, two values that's right oh sorry not polyfit polyval I'm sorry polyval to evaluate this polynomial okay see uh, for the uh, FE 60 using the second order polynomial it's 29 but LG using logarithmic function it is 342 342 which is uh, not logical value uh, sorry there's a mistake here again again uh, for the logarithmic function y equal m len x plus b so uh, don't use the polyval sorry don't use the polyval we can say that uh, we can say that LG 60 LG 60 equal to the M value the M value it is the first value in the LG vector of 1 times the len which is log log of 60 log of 60 like this better okay plus plus B B it's the second element in the vector of LG like this now it's okay now it's okay run the program again we have a mistake again log 60 equal lg of 1 lg of 1 l capital sorry this one should be l capital and this one should be l capital we should learn from our mistakes okay see for the value of the efficiency at uh, speed 60 using the logarithmic function it's 20, 28 i think 29 is more uh, it makes more sense so uh, which one is the correct one or the best one we don't know let me go to next let me go to next part and next part guys it says that uh, blot part a and b in one figure using subplot or blot it's up to you uh, we can make it using blot i will make it blot and subplot let me make blot first uh, blot v the original data Blot. Now to blot the data of the care fitted data. So uh, this one just one point. Forget it. Okay. So this is the polyfit second order. This is the logarithmic or logarithmic uh, fitting. Okay. You want to blot. To blot, we have to define the values of x. Say that x. Uh, we have the value from zero from five to to seventy five. Say that I have from zero to hundred. Okay, incremented by one. And now we can calculate here. We want to calculate the y, y from the second order, y from second order equal to poly, polyval, polyval, the polynomial we got before, which is SO at each value of x. And then we can blot, blot the values of x, the values of x versus y from second order. Say that these values continuous and say that it is in, in uh, green color. And same thing here, same thing here, we want to calculate the y from logarithmic function, yg, say that, equal to, uh, as I wrote before here, it is coefficient number 1, lg of 1, lg of 2, but log of x, each value of x. So we got the uh, vector y, and here we want to blot, blot the values of x with y, say that continuous but this one we use the red we use the green say that it is blue let me show you the result again run the program we have a mistake what this mistake so capital where is it here it should be so capital it should be here 
where is it s o capital because i was before okay s o capital run the program again we have another mistake y where is the y where is the y y g it should be here y g from logarithmic function run the program we got c we got the original one data point in red the green one it is the uh, say that the second order polynomial and the blue one it is the logarithmic so the green one it is uh, better than the other one how can i use the subplot subplot uh, we can we can say uh, let me plot this one to show the difference plot this one control c with uh, this one like this control v and uh, just to show you that i want uh, to keep this one cut I will keep it after this one just to show you what I'm doing. So we have two two curves or two figures. So I will use here sub sub uh, blot. Say that I have uh, I want them in two rows, two rows one column. Say that two by one. This is the first one, and followed by hold on, must hold on. So remove the previous one from here. No need for it. And I will use the same for the other one, Control C, and here Control V. C uh, subplot two, two. This is the second plot. I'm plotting the original, the original data with the care-fitted data using algorithm. Here, the original data with the care-fitted second-order polynomial. Run the program again. See, we have two plots here. As you see here, we have the original data uh, with the second order, original data with the logarithmic. So second order, it uh, it seems that it's better than the logarithmic function. So this one done now. The third one, in the third one, guys, it's taken from one of our experimental uh, experiments in, in, in material lab. Uh, in this lab, we have uh, instrument machine uh, or tensile test machine. And we have specimens. We are uploading. Uh, we are we are uh, say that uh, applying a load tension load from both sides on the specimen and measuring the uh, how much the load and how much the displacement or extension in the uh, specimen. We got all of these data. As you see, all of these data we have them. Actually, we have a well known thing for the ductile material: the strain hardening region. This is the strain hardening region in this area it's the strain hardening region guys okay in this strain hardening region uh, we have a data we know that this region represented by a flow curve or flow uh, equation where the stress sigma equal to uh, some constant k uh, times the strain uh, to the power of n the idea how we can find k how we can find n this is the idea of this exercise but we will solve it using different methods. Okay. Now, the data we have them, the data we have, let me close this file. Okay, it, uh, see, I'll see, clear. We have all of the data. The data, I think, tensile data. Let me check, I have them here. Tensile data, yes, tensile data.mat. Tensile, let me load it. We have strain, uh, 1,531 points of strain we have 1,531 stress. So for each point in strain, we have the corresponding point of stress. So I loaded the data uh, using double click. So let me CLC clear. Let me open a new file, a script file. Okay, CLC clear, close all. Let me load first the uh, tensile, tensile tensile data dot mat let me check the file name is correct tensile data dot mat very good so uh, run the program to be sure that everything is okay okay run the program yes we got stress strain vector and stress vector okay the problem a the linear care fitting it can be done by finding the best uh, A and B. So uh, there is a concept in, in uh, uh, numerical uh, concept to find the best fit, uh, linear data fit for any data. Uh, we, the best A 
and the best b can be can be found by writing this equation by writing this equation actually x here the data in x direction n number of data f it is the value of uh, the y so x represent the data in x direction f represent data in y direction and n represent number of data and a b they are the coefficients for the uh, first order polynomial this polynomial so if we uh, solve this equation we will find the best a and the best b so how we can write this one we have the data but again uh, uh, the data we, we are thinking to represent this data as a line and as uh, a flow curve so we will compare between them so i will use this polynomial at the beginning f represent the stress x represent the strain a and b should be founded from uh, this equation so what are the values of uh, stress and strain in this region actually it's given in the question it says that load the data i did that okay save data of the strain harding region it is the stress range between 108 to 11 megapascal or the index 248 to index 645 so let me write here say that i have uh, say that uh, as example say that x is the strain equal the strain the strain vector this is the strain vector which element from the strain vector i will take the elements as written in the question from 248 to 645 200 uh, 248 to uh, 645 these are the elements let me run and show you what i got run the program we got this 398 x points now we want the corresponding y or the strain the corresponding y or the strain that's the stress sorry stress uh, y stress because this is the stress uh, vector i will take the same the same elements because for each stress we have the corresponding strain so i have the x and y and we want to fit them at the beginning we want to fit them linearly so we can write this as part a as example part a as example i will fit them linear using the matrix form so in the matrix form how we can solve this matrix guys actually if you have coefficients multiplied by unknowns equal constants so at the uh, at the end the solution the solution equal uh, the inverse of this matrix multiplied by this vector so let me define them let me say that this is as example this is the uh, a and this is say that the c and this is the solution or the unknowns s okay let me let me start let me uh, start okay now uh, i will define the vector coefficients a equal to and now the the first element the first element this one the first element this one it is sum x to the power 2 x to the power 2 we can write sum it is sum of x to the power 2 x to the power 2 x it's a vector not a one value but that's it the second element here second element this one it is sum of x sum of x remember that x is the strain then go to next line this element sum of x also write sum of x next one here it is n number of data actual number of data it is 398 but no i don't know so write length length of x or y same they are same so this is the value of a this is the value of a if you want to run to see what's the value of a i will show you what's the value of a evaluate this is the value of a we have four values okay next step we have to write this uh, column uh, see here it's x sum of x times f x times y or say that uh, this is f just to make it like this in the equation say that this is f represent the stress here we have to write the uh, c coefficients equal to uh, the first element here it's sum of x times f sum sum of x sum of x times f remember that x and f they are they are vectors so x dot element by element 
Next one, it's sum of f. Sum of f. f, remember, f, it is the stress. Sum of f, like this. Don't see this one. If you want to run the code, uh, let me run the code and show you the result. We have a mistake here. What this mistake? Undefined f. Why it's defined here? Yes, because I didn't run the program. I run the program, no, we have f and we have c. This is the c, just to show you, we have two values in c. Next step, I have the value of a and I have the value of c. Now we have to say that the solution, solution equal to inverse, inverse of, inverse of a, inverse of a times c, times c. Save, run the program. We have a mistake here. Uh, why this mistake? Because incorrect damage of matrix multiplication. Inverse of A. A, we have one, two, one, two, here, one, two. Yes, I forgot. This one should be transpose. Transpose because I forgot to write semicolon here. Or you can, uh, yes, keep it like this. Run the program. Now it's okay. Uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. We got the solution. This is the solution, by the way, guys. Uh, right, S O L. What the solution? We have two values, two fifty one and one zero five. What they are? They are the values of A. They are the values of A. He, as you see here, and the value of B. So now I have. I know what's the relation. The relation. It is the stress equal uh, two fifty one times the stress, the strain plus the B value one zero one zero five. This is the uh, linear relation that can describe this flow curve or say that uh, describe this strain hardening region as a first order polynomial. Okay, so I did the first one. I, I found the A and found the B value. See, load the data done, save the data. I did this, this one. Okay, solve for part A to find A and B, then plot both original and curve points. I will do this one now. Now I uh, I already solved. I want to fit data. I want to fit to blot. Sorry. So blot the original data. The original data in the flow curve. Uh, it's x versus f, and keep them as uh, say that as a star, red star, red, red star, because they are discrete, not uh, continuous function points, experimental points, and I want to blot at the same time a blot. Say that. I will use the same x, okay? But I will use the care fitted data. So say that uh, y, or say that uh, y from uh, uh, yf fitted data, okay? But what is the yf? We have to calculate yf. Now yf, as you know, equal to uh, the a. The a, it is the solution, the solution of one, times times the strain which is x plus b plus b which is the solution the second element in the solution the second element on the solution and s should be capital or or if you don't want to write this one write polyval polyval poly because it's it's, it's a polynomial polyval evaluate this polynomial which polynomial it is the polynomial sol at which point? At each x point. That's it. And say that here, I want to blot to blot them uh, continuous, but using blue, using blue. And surely we have to write hold on, hold on before, hold on like this. Now let me save the program. Run. We have a mistake. Polyval, uh, polyval S O L at x. Where is the x here? We have x values. What's wrong here? Undefined function of variable poly, polyval. Polyval. Ployval, sorry. It should be poly. Polyval. Polyval. I'm sorry for that, this error. OK. As you see in this the graph, the data in red, they are original data. And the line, it's the best line that can fit the data. Best uh, uh, polynomial, first order polynomial that can uh, fit this data. The best A and B founded using polyfit function. Next step, we did this part. Next step, using polyfit function, solve for B. B, 
uh, we use the power function curve. Okay, the power function. Again, uh, just to remind you guys, remind you uh, what's the power. Before that, let me uh, delete all of these things. Okay. Now, just to remind you, what is the, the power function? What's the power function? Let me go back to this table here. See the power function here. Uh, I'll see the power function. This is the power function. Okay, power function means the relation between y and x like this. y equal b x times m. Okay. And let me talk a little bit about this relation. Okay, guys. Again, we are talking about this one. So let me erase this one also. Uh, now, as I told you, we need the value of y to be fitted with the value of x using power function like this. But we don't have a built-in function to make the polyfit. So I will try to make this one as a linear equation. I will take the log. So log y, in this case, equal log of b x to the power m, which is log b plus m log x. So as you see, here we have log y equal m log x plus log b log b it's a constant here it is the data in x-axis here it is data in y-axis so the relation between the log y and log x is this linear so we can use the polyfit yes i can use the polyfit how how we can use the polyfit so i can say that i can say that uh, the polyfit value equal poly fit the data in x direction it is log x data in y direction it is log y and first order polynomial now this function guys this function this function will return this function will return uh two things the value of m and the value of log of b log of b not b the value of log of b so m non what is the value of b? Take the exponential. So the value of b equal exponential of log of b. Log of b. Now the the uh, again again. Now here m equal the first element in pf polyfit. While b equal exponential of the second element polyfit of two. Why? Because the function itself, polyfit, it will return the value of m and the value, as you see here, log of b, log of b. So m, it's already the first element in polyfit vector. While b, it is the exponential of this one, exponential of the second element in the polyfit vector. This is what we're trying to do. Now let us do the same thing. Say that this is part b. Part B. In part B, we are using the, the power function. Okay, for the power function again, we can say that uh, say that uh, the f the f or the whatever what do you want f equal the solution or polyfit polyfit function uh, or say power power uh, power function pr power function equal poly polyfit. I'm fitting the data. In x direction, not x, it is log, log of the stress, the strain, which is here x, okay, log of x, and that in y direction, it is log of f, log of f, which order, first order. Now, the polyfit function will return two values, the pr, we can say that m equal, just to show you, no, no need, but to show you, it is the pr of 1, pr of 1, the first element of pr. And the B value equal to uh, uh, exponential, as I told you, exponential of PR of 2, the second element in this vector. And then we can say that uh, the new Y from this PR, the new Y from this PR equal, equal to M 
times m times say that the values of x to the power to the power of uh, sorry it is b it is b it is b times b times of uh, the strain x to the power of m to the power of m and x here it's a vector right dot like this this is why i wrote m and b before just to show you so this is the y okay now we want to plot a plot in x direction it will be x in y direction it will be y taken from the uh, power function uh, curve fitting okay uh, say that i want this data as a line in uh, green and green save run uh, as you see here the the blue the red one original the blue one it's line uh, we got them from the matrix form solution and the green one is the power function and i think the power function it is better than the linear one and just to remind you just to remind you as i told you in the material we are trying to find the value of k because sigma here equal k uh, multiplied by strain to the power m the value uh, by by n sorry n flow curve n n here it is m what we got before and k it is the b so this is how we can use it if you want to keep it uh, n and k like this you can go back to here like like here like right n here and instead of b write k and then this should be uh, k and this should be n to make it as written in the documents for the material testing uh, document. So this is the power function using uh, n and k. So uh, no need to use the MMP. Okay. So using a polyfit function, solve for b and find a and b, then plot both original and care fitted points. We did this one actually not a and b to find uh, uh, as a uh, yes it's a and b but uh, a here it's the value of k and b it's the value of n as we wrote here so we solved the second the third question here uh, how we can use the polyfit second question already done first question question already done just a note guys just a note as you see here just in this table uh, in exam uh, i will give you this table so we can use the power function what if i want to use the exponential function as you see here the exponential function what i will use how can i use it and what function i will use i will show you now now for the exponential guys i see for the exponential the value of y equal b e m x so as you see here the value of y equal p times e to the power m times x this is the exponential but i have polyfit polynomial fitting so it should be a linear equation can i try to uh, let us try to make this one linear equation so let me take the log log of y in this case equal log of b plus uh, plus m plus m uh, say that uh, mx when you take the log of e mx it will be mx see the relation now between it's linear relation but between x and log of y x and log of y we can say that polynomial fitting p equal say that poly fit poly fit the data in x direction it's x but in y it will be log of y okay first order now this function will return two things this function should return two things it should return the value of m as you see the first element and the value of log of b the value of log of b don't forget that so if you want to, to make the m m equal the first element of b while b equal exponential of b of 2 the second element okay what about say if you want to uh, use uh, logarithmic uh, we, we use this one before logarithmic reciprocal let me take the reciprocal one for reciprocal the relation should be like this guys 
So I want the relation to be y equal to 1 over mx plus b. That uh, in x direction it's x, in the y direction it is y. How can I convert this one to linear relation? So let me do the following. This one can be written in the, fo in the form of 1 over y equal to mx plus b. That means the relation here, it's linear, but between x and 1 over y. So I will use the polyfit, poly fit, say that p equal polyfit. I want to fit the data in x axis, it is x, and y axis 1 over y, first order. So this polynomial will return the value of m and will return the value of p directly. That's it. Uh, see, this is uh, in general how we can use the reciprocal. Now, the last thing I want to add, the last thing I want to add, guys, uh, uh, say that, uh, where is the whiteboard here? I think this one. Uh, last thing I want to add, guys, uh, say that we have data. I don't want, uh, I don't know what is this data. I don't know what is this data I have. Uh, See, I will say that I have data of x and data of y given. I will draw, I will make a draw. I don't know what is the, I don't know what's the best fit for this one. Is it a linear polynomial? It is second order polynomial. It is third order polynomial. It is uh, one over x reciprocal. It is exponential, logarithmic. I don't know. So what I will do, I will plot the original data at the beginning say that the data like this okay these are the data then i will take i will uh, blot a second curve as example this curve this curve as you see for the red one it is just x for the red one it is just x with y okay for the blue one uh, say that for the blue one i i blotted log of x with log of y. So this is what? This is log x versus log y. Say that I plotted also uh, another one, another curve. Uh, actually, no need for the original data, but just uh, say that uh, let me let me go and delete original actually it doesn't uh, doesn't make sense to plot them okay now for this one for this one say that i plotted log of x versus y so here we have uh, x and here we have uh, log of y for this curve and say that I tried look to uh, I tried uh, say that log of x with log of y this one uh, x with log of y this one I uh, let me uh, say that also I want uh, say that x with log of y we did one uh, so say that we have this one it is uh, x versus log of y okay uh, and also we can plot the reciprocal say that i got this one as exam i don't know how, how would be the relation but say that this is x with one over y one over y like this one over y so as you see if we plot uh, x versus log of y we didn't get a linear a linear equation or linear line if we plot log uh, x versus log y, not linear. x with 1 over y, not linear. But I found that the log of x versus y, it is line. That means this one, this one should be taken. This one is the best fit. This one is the best fit. Okay? So this is the best fit here. That means, that means, uh, I'll see y equal a constant, say this content is a, times log 
x plus b. Okay, now which one, which equation that can give us this one, the original equation, take the exponential or keep it like this. I know that now uh, y equal a log of x plus b. Go back, go back to uh, the document I gave you before. Do we have something like this? Again, what, what we want, we want, uh, uh, let me minimize it like this. Okay, we want uh, y equal to, sorry. We want, as you use oh, again, we want, uh, as you saw, we want y equal a constant log of x. Do you have something like this here? Uh, C, len or log m log x b, it is logarithmic function. So the best fit here will be using the logarithmic function, as I told you. Uh, y equal a log x plus b. So this is the best fit, the best fit. So how we can solve it now? Now, again, the, the, uh, the blots, they are not the polyfit blots. We are printing the data. Okay? Blotting the data. I blot the data using this one, x with log of, uh, with 1 over y. Not linear, so I can't fit it using uh, reciprocal. I used log x with log of y, not linear. I can't fit it using uh, this one. But I found the relation between log of x and y, it's line. It is a line or linear. I can use the poly fit. So I will fit it using logarithmic one. So how we can use this one? Just to remind you, just to remind you, uh, using the logarithmic one, using the logarithmic one, how we can make the fit? How we can make this fit? Again, we will say that as example, p equal poly fit. I know that in x it should be log of x, in y should be y, and it is first order. So this polyfit will return the value of a, will return the value of b. If you know the value of a and the value of b, you can plot, you can find uh, a value for the function at certain x and so on. So this is how we can. So again, this is not fitting. This plot just to know which fit it could be better. The one with line. So why? Because I have in MATLAB a polyfit function. And polyfit function, we have first or second order. I will use linear one. Okay? So this is how we can use the, the blots to uh, know which one is the best one. Then do the care fitting. I hope that everything in this uh, video is clear. We learned together how we can solve system of linear equations, how we can uh, fit data using polynomial, first order, second order, third order, what, what the order, and also how we can how we can say that uh, polyfit using these functions in this table. The power function, the power function, the exponential, the logarithmic and reciprocal. Exponential using 10 and using e, Logarithmic using log 10 and log e or len function. Thank you so much. I hope everything is okay. See you next video.